Now, the Conservative MP Nadine Dorries has been suspended from the party after her decision to desert her constituents for up to a month to appear on the reality TV show I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. The Mid Bedfordshire MP will swap Westminster for the Australian bush, where she'll no doubt be asked to eat maggots or wrangle with snakes. A senior Conservative source said tonight that Miss Doris would remain suspended until a meeting with the Chief Whip. Now, a reminder of our main news at 7.33. As the government reveals further details of the inquiries into North Wales' children's home scandal, a senior former aide to Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, Sir Peter Morrison, has been named by an eyewitness who was at the home at the centre of the affair. The man has told this programme that he saw another boy being driven away in the MP's car. And the man whose allegations resurrected the care home scandal last week has told us how another senior Conservative official from the Thatcher era threatened to kill him if he spoke of the abuse. When he threatened, when he, when he threatened me, he said, he told me who he was for a start, and number two, that he would have me killed if I spoke out. Well, I'm joined now by Paul Murphy, who was Labour's Welsh Secretary when the Waterhouse report was published, and by the Conservative MP Karen Lumley, who served on the original Cluid Council inquiry into the abuse allegations. Karen Lumley first, the BBC has had to face up to the fact that one of its stars was a paedophile. Now the Tory party is potentially having to come to terms with allegations of abuse by one of its stars, Sir Peter Morrison. Well, the whole thing is, is dreadful and the whole, you know, I feel so sorry for, for what happened to those people uh, in Wrexham. And I lived there and was a councillor myself for many years. And it's just, I'm glad today that we're actually getting, going to get, perhaps hopefully, to, to, to the details of what, what actually went on. But with these inquiries, there's a danger for the Tory party, isn't there, that this, these allegations may not concern an isolated uh, figure in the party? Look, this isn't about the Conservative Party today. This is about how we let these people down. And if it was Conservative people that were doing it, whatever political party it was, these people deserve to have the truth out, and I, and I fully support that. Paul Murphy, how could you have been satisfied when you published the Waterhouse report that, uh, the alleg that the, it was comprehensive when it only focused on allegations that took place within the care home's premises? Well, with hindsight, you're absolutely right. Except, of course, that Waterhouse did address the issue um, of paedophiles in Wrexham and Chester who may or may not have taken boys from these homes in North Wales and abused them and came to the conclusion that there was insufficient evidence to prosecute. Um, but they were aware of those rumours and uh, allegations going around, looked at them, but of course the remit of the report was entirely about the institution. And 25 people were eventually prosecuted for the terrible things they did to boys in those homes over the years. But many more potential abusers remained at large because the likes of Steve Meacham were told that they couldn't name. I mean, th 30 uh, potential abusers he wanted to name, he was told he couldn't. Indeed, and that's why, of course, I very much welcome what the Home Secretary has said today, that there are two separate uh, inquiries going to be held. And the more important of them is what the police now do to investigate thoroughly the fresh allegations that have been made about different individuals and whether, in fact, they were involved in this abuse all those years ago. So you had absolutely no idea at the time that it might have gone wider, no suspicions at all? Other than what Sir Ronald himself had said in his report, which ran to about four or five pages, that there were suspicions that there was a paedophile ring, um, but that there was insufficient evidence to link it at that stage um, with, the, with the homes in North Wales. And you believed but, him? But of course, yes, inevitably. Um, this was a High Court judge uh, telling us these things. But it was a very restricted remit, and that, I think, is, was the you problem. You could have broadened that remit, of course. No, I couldn't, because the report was ready. It was finished by the time that I presented it to Parliament. And my job when, then was to ensure that the 72 recommendations that the inquiry had actually said we should put into effect, that they were followed up as they were as the years went by. So absolutely no suspicion that you were presiding over a cover-up? Well, none whatsoever, um, other than the fact, as I said, that he recognised that there were allegations about these other people. Uh, but, the same, but it is important to understand, of course, that people were prosecuted and put into prison for some of these crimes. Karen Lumley, you were in local government in both Wrexham and Cluid when these allegations were aired. Um, you talked about horrendous uh, unpublished details of abuse cases in the, in the Commons today. Do you feel responsible that you didn't do more to investigate those allegations? I feel, I feel very sorry for what happened in the Cluid, in the Cluid County Council days. 
the report wasn't published because our insurers wouldn't let us publish the report. But what we did then was ask the Secretary of State for Wales, William Hague at that time, to, to launch an investigation, which he did, and which obviously Paul oversaw at the, at the end of that. But you Do know, you want the Cluid report to be published now? I, think we, I, I don't think the Cluid report, Cluid County Council doesn't exist anymore, and I don't think that report exists anymore. But let me tell you, Cathy, when I read that report, I was a young mum. And it was very, very upsetting. I'm really sorry that's all we have time for. Uh, Karen Lumley and Paul Murphy, thank you very much for joining me. Back now to John in Washington.